I was just busy reading this newspaper, I guess you call it. Uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, sent to me uh, a while ago uh, from one of my aunts, I think. Uh, and uh, it's a humorous newspaper. Uh, and there's this one article called How You Talk to a Human Being, which, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I found it funny enough that I kept it for a couple of years at least. But I found it again, and I actually think that uh, this would be a good time to share it since uh, everything is now opening back up and uh, the U.S. is back in business, I guess. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think this is a, a good time to read it again. Yeah. Now, this was originally made uh, as, uh, you know, well, like I said, it, it's humor, and it was made uh, as, as a joke uh, that people are too much on their phones and computers to talk to other people. Yeah, so this is, this is teaching people uh, uh, how to talk to another human being when they're not on their phones or computers. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, here's, here's the article. It says, in this new age of digital media or pandemic, I guess. <laughs> uh, we are connected through our phones and computers. Because of this, many of us have forgotten uh, uh, now. That's probably because we've been in quarantine for so long. Uh, uh, many, of which, many of us have forgotten how to speak to another human being. Some of us may not even know what a human being is. Uh, luckily, this article will help you teach, will help teach you how to communicate with a human. Step one, identify a human being. Uh, human beings are those creatures in the videos you watch on your screens. Uh, they, you know, the, they have two legs, two arms, some of them have less, some have more. Outside of cyberspace, human beings can be your spouse, your boss, your neighbor, uh, that old guy yelling at you for parking your car the wrong way. Uh, some of your family members may even be human beings. They are also known as people. Yeah. Step two, take your earbuds out of your ears, put down your phone, and turn it off. This is the hardest step. But in order to engage in a conversation with another person, you must complete this step. During a conversation, you will be tempted to pick up your device or put your earbuds back in. Resist the urge. I recommend putting your earbuds into a pocket or a case, taping your phone to a table or the ceiling, Locking your computer in a safe or putting your smartphone in a box. Do not give your device to your child. 
Studies have shown extreme brain rot occurs within minutes of a child coming into contact with a smartphone or computer. Okay. Uh, better to give your device to your cat or a person over the age of 55. They won't even be able to turn it on, let alone use it. Third step, make eye contact, which, you know, might be a little bit hard for people like me. Making eye contact is the first step to communicating in spoken word. Unfortunately, making eye contact does not involve uh, showing someone a cat video. Dang. Uh, and and uh, in case you didn't know, eyes are the organs in which we look at the screens on our phones or computers. They are located between your nose and your forehead. Yeah, right here. Once you have determined uh, where your eyes are on your chosen human's face, well, look into their eyes, just like you would look at your screen. But instead of your phone, stare into the eyes of the human with which you like to speak with. Yep. Uh, step four, instigating a conversation. What is a conversation? Conversations are spoken words exchanged between human beings. Kind of like the way you talk to your cat. <laughs> or, you know, in my case, dog. Uh, first, you need to think of something to say, which Again, for people like me, may not be easy. A good way to start a conversation is to ask your chosen human a question. Yes, I, I have learned that. Here are some suggestions. How was work? Did you see the latest cat video on YouTube? Have you built your nuclear fallout shelter yet? I have not, I have not done that. Uh, step five, listen to your human's response. And whenever they say you're human, it sounds like, uh, to me it sounds like uh, they're talking about a human that's a pet. Like, like your dog or your cat and you're human. <laughs> so step five, Listen. Listening involves using your ears. And ears are those round, roundish organs located on either side of your head. Where you put your earbuds. Instead of listening to your earbuds, which you should have uh, put away by now, listen to the person with whom uh, you're speaking with. Uh, they will be speaking words back to you. Uh, possibly even answering your question. Yeah, it's hard, sometimes not. Wait until they are done talking. Uh, an indication uh, of when they are finished ta talking will be a closed mouth. Uh, step six, respond with more words. Uh, I know you're probably exhausted if not downright bored by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but stick with the conversation. Stick it out, yeah. Uh, eventually you might even find it interesting and invigorating depending on 
was whom you're speaking to. Yeah. Yeah, that, that can happen. Uh, if the person has stopped and is now allowing you to speak, continue the conversation. Once again, a conversation involves you speaking actual words, not showing someone a cat video or, or you know, using emojis. Uh, base your response on what they say. For instance, if you have asked the person about the proper methods of surviving a mass shooting, oh, okay. Going a little dark here. Uh, and they have given advice, make a comment about what, what, about uh, whatever bulletproof vests or urban assault vehicles they have recommended. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> and then the last step, step seven, listen, respond, and repeat the cycle until you both are bored. Yeah. And then I guess the conversation can end. After you have exhausted uh, all of the things that you would like to speak to with the person about, uh, you may now withdraw your device and show your friend the, the latest cat video. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hint. Avoid shouting out the letters LOL. Actually allow yourself to laugh out loud. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to say LOL if you're laughing out loud. Yeah, it's true. This may be a first for you uh, in, what, a year and a half now, I guess. But the physical action of laughing can lead to an increased sense of happiness, an emotional phenomenon you may not have experienced before uh, or possibly in the last year and a half. After the video is over, instead of continuing to stare at the screen, try something new. Put your device down once again. Make eye contact uh, with your fellow human and discuss the video. Think what a huge world of video possibilities this will open up for you. After all, you can't possibly have seen all of the videos produced in the world, can you? Yeah, I actually heard that there are more minutes of videos uploaded to YouTube uh, every hour or less than the, all of the minutes of movies that are released in a year. So, yeah, definitely could not have seen all of the videos ever made. All right, uh, where was I? Uh, beyond that, think about how being able to talk to another human might aid you in the future. Yeah, I, I think about that often. And I, I think I've made a couple videos uh, about that. Think what a fun exchange you can have with your friends. Uh, okay. Uh, Again, they're, they're just joking here. Uh, think what a fun exchange you can have with your friends about how climate change is a liberal hoax, car emissions 
our wonderful for your lungs and how the poison you use on weeds is as healthy as orange juice. Again, a humorous newspaper, not to be taken literally. Think about how great it will be to receive advice about which of your medicines you can stop taking so you can afford rent this month. Getting for political, huh? Uh, a whole new world of speaking with others awaits you. And then, uh, then it ends by saying, congratulations, you have engaged in a conversation with another human being. You have accomplished what most people can no longer do or haven't done in a year and a half. You should be very proud of yourself. Sure. And yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I, I uh, found this and read it over and it, it, it's, yeah, it's weird because I've been hearing uh, the, the same stuff that's in this article uh, now, except uh, instead of about technology, it's about the pandemic and how you know, people were in quarantine, staying away from other people, and now they're uh, like anxious or have anxiety about getting back out and and uh, seeing people and talking with people not on the screen, uh, which you know that's that's a uh, sounds a lot like how I feel every day, uh, or, I mean, at least how I used to. Uh, and now I, I would say I feel a little bit better about, you know, at least having a small conversation uh, with other people. and. Uh, and I am less anxious about uh, getting out and and uh, being around other people and and yeah 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 but yeah I I just thought that was funny and and, and uh, can be applied to today strangely enough so yeah yeah uh, that's gonna be it for this funny video I guess uh, until next time goodbye